Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We are here once again, not once again, but finally off the shelf of shame, Star Wars The Deck Building Game. I think that only works for Alien. I don't think that works. So here we are. For those of you who are not familiar, this is a basic deck building game. We are playing the Leader Solo Variant which I have found to be really good. Azure Death did a great job on that. Kudos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's why I wanted to, I bought it because of that expansion. Otherwise I would not have bought the game. So, let's play. As always, we start as the Imperial side goes first, as always. We're going to go on ahead. We get three, a stock of three Imperial credits. We get a one Stormtrooper. I like how this works out because we're going to go ahead and buy three. What are we going to buy? We buy capital ships first. That gets turned over because that's going to be coming up. That gets turned that way. We get a new ship. They had three. They are now down to zero. Two damage. There is nothing they can bounty hunt. So they will go after Dan Tween. I am not playing three random um, planets. I am playing the first three planets of the first five you're supposed to play. This card goes back over here. Will be mustered next time. And we get five cards. Well, that was probably not how it should come out. Oh, we also get a plus one. So that gives us six. Ha, ha, ha. Like there's any question what I'm going to buy. We go to our discard pile, which I will set. Okay, so if you're looking at the camera, it's going over just over here. Underneath here, and this is our next card. And we have five here. One, two, three. Four. Okay, so we're back. I have the extra alliance shuttle card. This will be our turn for next time. And we move to here. These get flipped over. We have three to purchase with and two to shoot with. For three, they will buy. The TIE Fighter and Rhodian Gunslinger. They have two points to shoot with and they're not going to be able to hit anything. So they will do two damage to Datooine. Goes back over here. Everyone shuffles over. So we have two Rebel Troopers for four points of damage. We have which I can't do any damage, that's kind of bad. I have two, three, and one potential. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to go on ahead and shoot at Lothal, Lothal uh, for four points. No, I'm not, hold on, we're gonna wait on that. We're gonna buy, we have four to purchase with, because the Temple Guardian does one of whatever, and we will buy, look at your opponent's hand, if the force is with you, place one card from their hand on the top of their deck. Okay, that's easy enough to do. So do I want Jane or do I want the Hammerhead? I am going to take Jane Urso. That takes care of that. We have four points to do damage. And we will do three of those to the troop. Yeah, we'll do two to the trooper. The reward is two uh, force, but I'm already ma max force, so that's okay. We'll put this over here for us in our wind deck. 
I'll figure out what to no, I'll just do this. No, I can't do that. Okay. So that's the end of our return. And we'll shuffle. Okay, so after shuffling, I dawned on me, I uh, made an error. This is supposed to go up by two. They would have had one, and I would have gotten that back, so it's still here at the Rebel. We're on turn number three. And we'll bring out their cards. They automatically get the capital ship. I'm going to place the capital ships over here as the way to do it. Stormtrooper, we have three points to purchase with. And wow, they don't have anything to purchase, so they will purchase a Outer Rim Pilot. Stormtrooper will do two damage. And the only thing he can do damage to is Dantooine, which is at six. So these guys go over here, they're turned over, they will come out next turn. We take our five cards. Four, five. Your point discards one card from their hand, I kind of like that. So what happens here if one card comes over, what we would do is we would take one of these cards and the lowest cost card, that's not a basic card, gets turned back over onto their next deck. So it's going to get one more turn to cool down. So we have five to purchase with. And I don't know if I want to do the Hammerhead, which would be good, or Cassian. I'm going to go with Cassian as our purchase. This happened uh, in my last game where we just had rubbles upon rubbles and then we switched over and then we switched back. So these are all discarded. I'll get my next five. One, two, three, four, five. And it is now turn number four. Okay, so we have, you ignore all the text here for the Bounty Hunter. Likewise, we also ignore the, ta the text here. Oh, I was supposed to do two damage. And that goes on to the cruiser. So, to purchase with, okay, so first of all, they have two, four, six to shoot down with. They do have three, four to purchase with. And they will purchase two of the pilots. We forgot to move that up last turn. They have six. They have six. So they will take out this. This is going to hurt a lot. <laughs> and they have two more. So they will take out Datooine. The next one does not get flipped over yet, but that's okay, they're out. They gain four, so what happens here? They gain one, they will gain one force. They gain two, they gain the Inquisitor. And they gain one more shuttle. Three and four. Oh, they're gonna have Darth Vader really soon. We'll put this over here. Okay, these two cards get discarded. They are gone. And refill the galaxy row. Oh, good. Four, five, good. 
So the good news is I can discard one card from the galaxy row. Uh, I'm sorry. Exile one card from your hand. That's always a good thing to do. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. We gain two force. We're back up at maximum. We do not gain that because it was not at the beginning of our turn. We have Jane Orso. Look at your opponent's hand. If the force is with you, place one card from their hand on the top of their deck. So we can't do this one. We will do the Outer Rim Pilot. They're going to have some serious purchasing power. They're probably getting themselves a Star Destroyer. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five to purchase with. And I will buy the Hammerhead Corvette. I need some capital ships for protection. This ship gets flipped over. When Hoth is, is your base, prevent the first two damage dealt to Hoth each turn. Because we have a planetary shield. So we are out. Uh, well, let's see if are we, we are out of spending. We are out of spending. We are then going into our attack. We have six to attack with. And we will do two to the TIE Bomber. Oh, bummer. Okay. Exile one card from your hand or from your discard pile. And I will discard a shuttle. So we have four left. Oh, that's not good. That hurts. Because the only thing I'm going to be able to do is get rid of the cruiser. Okay, that's the end of my turn. And I have two cards. We'll have to shuffle. So they have the Stormtrooper. They have one, two, three, four shuttles plus the Inquisitor. Okay, I just double checked the rules on something. The Inquisitor would be down here because it just goes into the normal play and it will use the Force. If the Force is all the way over, it will use damage. So in this case, it will move the Force down by one. The Stormtrooper has two points. We have four points to purchase with. And we will buy two Outer Rim pilots. We're gonna go through them really fast. Two damage, and we'll start off at, at Hoth. That's the end of his turn. We go to our turn. Move this over by one. Good news. We have the hammerhead. Exile this to destroy a capital ship. Uh, that's okay. We're good. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four to purchase with. We will go with the blockade runner, which goes to our discard pile. And we then go on ahead and we will move the. F <gasps> we will move the f force by one and do two damage to Lothel. Is that all the further we've gotten? Oh goodness. That's the end of our turn. Two, three, four, five. Ooh, that's gonna be a good hand coming up. Now we have the buying binge. Six. <laughs> Ten to purchase with. They will buy the largest capital ship, which they can't afford. 
which will be a Star Destroyer. That's two, four, six, plus four is 10, minus that was seven, so we have three left over. We will, he will buy a, another Outer Rim Pilot. That leaves one left over, so he moves up by two on the leaderboard. These guys are discarded. Back over here, we take our hand. I hope we can buy a Luke. And we have two for the Hammerhead Corvette. Three, four, five, six. We do not have enough. And there's nothing we can kill to get more. Okay, so let's go ahead and purchase. We have four, five, six. We will take... The opponent must choose either to discard one card from their hand or this unit gains two. Choose to repair two damage to your base or gain one. I am... We say we have we have four, five, six. I am going to go ahead and buy the Rebel Transport. This unit gains two while attacking a target in the Galaxy Row. We have when you purchase this unit, exile one card from your hand or discard pile up to two cards instead if the force is with you. That's going to be my best bet. I will... Exile out. Ah, that's at least good. I'm getting rid of cards. Force is completely with us. We have five. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, nice. Gain three and three. Perfect. So we have... Ah, the three credits aren't going to do me much good. Okay, we have seven, eight, nine. I could just take out Lothal. I will take out Grand Moff Tarkin. This gives us three extra credits to purchase with. I will buy the Z95. And I would love to buy that. Yeah, that's all we're going to be able to do for purchasing. We're at the max force. And that leaves us three, which will be three damage to Lethal. We only have three cards left, so we'll shuffle. Okay. Ooh, yay, we got Princess Leia. Okay, so over here we have two, four. We'll move the force down by one. Four, eight to purchase. Cat will buy the largest capital ship first, which will be the Imperial Carrier. And that leaves one point left over. We'll buy Jawa Scavenger. That's Imperial Carrier. And I got that mixed up. I hate when I do that. So that takes care of purchasing. These guys get exiled. 
we've already used this so we only have two points to do damage with and we will go after La Fall. I mean La Fall, Hoth. First two points are missed. First two points were missed last time. Both of these cards go over here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, first of all, we have Princess Leia purchase a Rebel card from the Galaxy Row for free if the Force is with you. Place that card on the top of your deck. Luke Skywalker, without question. Blockade Hunter is good. So we have one, two, eight damage. Move force gets back, move back up. We have four to purchase with, not five. Tang Fighter, when you purchase this unit, add it to your hand and draw one card if the force is with you. I believe I just heard what I'm going to do. When you purchase this unit, add it to your hand, draw one card, and if the force is with you, we have one point left over to purchase with. This really stinks. So we have nine, ten, we got a lot. <laughs> Look at your opponent's hand. If the force is with you, place one card from their hand on back on the top of their deck. Thank you, Jane Urso. We don't have anything else that we can do, unfortunately. That's the end of our turn. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Not too bad, because he's... Oh, boy, I messed up with the capital ship. So, next turn. Hold it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We have six. Oh, this is going to work out. Look at this. Okay, 10. We have 8. We have 6 because we're going to bounty hunt because he's like he's in the row. So that's 6. That's 8. Darth Vader is hit and out. He does not die. But we do gain 4 force and four to purchase with and we will buy the blockade we will buy Chewbacca then we have oh, come on I want something to shoot with okay so then we have 10 13 and Lothal is definitely out. So we have Kessel. We move this up. It is a 12 point. Gain a shuttle. Move highest cost Empire card or neutral card from the Galaxy Row to the enemy muster area face up. Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Whoa, whoa. We're not done. <gasps> yes, we get to take him out. Yeah, I have plenty left over. He's out. Han Solo. Oh, no, Solo. Jabba is coming for you. Okay, so... These guys all get turned over. So we have one, two, three, four. Oh, oh. Darth will be with us next turn. Every other turn, he's going to be coming at us. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of stuff. Okay, so we have two force for Java. Three, 
seven to right, one, two, three, four, five, eight to purchase with. We will buy the highest cost. Seven. Oh, hold on, hold on. Seven. That leaves one over to play to uh, purchase with. Nothing that we can do. And at this point, it's not going to matter because the leader, so that's over and done with. We then have damage. He is out. Damage is four. And they take out my Hammerhead Corvette. Java is discarded and exiled. Goes over here. My turn. Okay, when Cassian defeats a target on the Galaxy Row, your opponent discards one card from their hand. I like that. But I don't have anybody to defeat. Okay, so what do we purchase with? We have two to purchase with. I will take the Gunslinger then. Because this happens. Okay, so the good news is we're going to take him out. We're going to take out Kessel. We're going to take out both of these. So two damage. That will be the Hunter. Our reward is we gain one force. No, no, no. We're going to use this one to get rid of Admiral Pet. That means we get rid of one, which is going to just be a Jawa. Yeah. So then we have these guys are all out. We have four left. Oh, I guess I am not taking them out. One, two, three. One, two, three, and f three and four. So that's nine total for Kessel. Our turn is over. And we're going to have to draw cards. One, two, three, four. Yep. We're going to have to shuffle. Not a great hand, not a horrible hand. We're just going to put these here for now. So I do have to get rid of both of those. That gives, so we'll do it the force. Then we have eight to damage. We have another four to damage. We have five, eight to purchase with. We will buy the highest cost capital ship. We don't have anything else that we can purchase. There is no more bounty hunting. They just go after. And force is now neutral because the Inquisitor. So we have eight damage, which will be 12, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, what did I say they have? Four, ten, twelve, which will be ten. Ten. There we go. Okay. These all go back. My turn. Good news, we have a capital ship, so we get to draw a card. We have Princess Leia. We have a cap blockade runner, which gives us one. We have a rebel transport. Choose to repair two damage to your 
base or gain one. First of all, force for Leia goes up by two. I will repair two damage to Hoth. We have three to purchase with. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we're going to put back the two damage. We are going to take the one resource. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And we will buy hand solo. That's a good card to buy. And then we will use Princess Leia's power. We will gain the Millennium Falcon. We have a Scout Trooper. XL one card from your hand or discard pile. No, we are not going to do that right now. We're going to take our chances. So then we have two, four, six to do damage. We will take out the Imperial Carrier. And that's it. Uh, not a great hand. So they end up with this. So to purchase, they have one, two, plus five is seven, eight, nine. They will buy a capital ship. There are none. They will buy the most expensive card, which will be Dengar for four. That leaves them five. They will buy Mercenary for four, which leaves them with one. Good thing they don't bounty hunt because this is a nice guy to have. And two damage, they will take out the rebel trent. They will take out the rebel transport. Jawa is exiled. Stormtrooper goes back over. We get our five cards. If you have another unique character, draw a card. Look at your opponent's hand if the force is with you, which fortunately it is at this moment. We will move the freighter over there. When you purchase this unit, okay. So we have Three to purchase with. Forces with you draw a card or do two extra damage. I will do three. Then we have, wow, 13 points to do damage with. XL one card from your hand or discard pile. Let's take a look at my discard pile. I'm thinking this is a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, that's all we're going to do. Okay, so then we will... We have... Seven, four, and three. So we will use Jane to take out the blockade runner. We will use these this nine to take out the star destroyer. That leaves the crop cruiser. That is also the end of our turn. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, we've got a good hand coming up. But first, we have to get through this hand. Okay, so we are back with the Imperial turn. And in full disclosure, I just took actually a very long break. So we have two force. Back to neutrality of force. We have eight points to do damage. We have five to purchase with. So they are going to take the trooper. Ah, I'm glad they didn't get Krennic. And they are going to get the Mystic. So we have then eight. They have four, five, six. They have two more. One, two, three, four, five. And six. So they are going to go on ahead and they are going to flat out. Vader will take out the ship. And two to Hoth, but Hoth has planetary shields, so no damage to Hoth. Okay, my turn. One, two, three, four, and five. If forces, okay, so first of all, we're going to move force in our direction. By two, the force is with you. Destroy a capital ship of your opponent has in play. Yay. That means we're going to be able to go after it. Good. Uh, we don't have anything to purchase anything with. And we only have, and we have what? Nine, so we only need three. The fang when you purchase this unit, add it to your hand. Okay, uh, gain two when Cassian defeats a target in the Calyx Row. Your opponent discards one, and that's going to be helpful. Okay, so he's not going to. So we have three that we have to get rid of for, Ke for Kessel. So Kessel is out. And Coruscant is upside down. Because I can't attack Coruscant. So this leaves us with a whole bunch of damage to do. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go after Krennic. Cassian Andor will take care of Krennic by himself. Uh, when he defeats, he goes on ahead and ha you take a card, which would be the lowest cost card. Oh, well, what else do I'm sorry, what do we get? Three and two force. So force is now fully with us. And we have three to purchase with. Four, so these two will take care of the ATST. Uh, you may exile up to two cards from your hand or discard pile. So let's take a look at our discard pile. So we're going to discard two of the Lion Shuttles. 
doing a good job keeping this deck thin. Unlike my last game, which did not do that at all. Okay, that's out. That leaves Luke with six, and he'll take care of the fighter. We gain one, so that'll be four. <sighs> Bummer. That would have been nice. Okay, so we have four to purchase with. I am definitely going to go with the Hammerhead Corvette. And, oh no, guess what else they're going to get. So, that's the end of our turn. And we have to shuffle. Oh, how cute. We got Luke and Leia together. Aww. We come back over here. We have a Nebulon Frigate. Ah, uh, six, eight. They have five to purchase. Nothing to purchase with down here. Frigate doesn't give them anything. That's five. They cannot afford the Star Destroyer. They will take the landing craft, however. Okay. Mon Calamari Cruiser. Calamari Cruiser. So they will go on ahead and destroy Hoth. Even with the planetary shields. Moncala is our last one. But that doesn't get turned over. This does get turned over. At the beginning of each purchase step, enemy spends four to destroy the highest hit point opposing capital ship, if there are any. Oh, great. So they're going to basically be able to take out one capital ship every turn. So Denger and... are both gone. At least these two. Back to our turn. We have Mancala. We do not have a capital ship. Okay, look at your opponent's hand. Oh, we we'll have forces with us, so we get one. Right off the bat, we have two. Two more. One more. Okay, so that's it for purchasing right now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're not going to move the force in our way. We're going to um, purchase a rebel card, put that card on the top of your deck. So I'm going to get this card next turn. So I am going to go with the Mon Calamari Cruiser. Draw one card, two cards, and if you have the Millennium Falcon, we only have one card. So we are going to get the Mon Calamari Cruiser. This is good. Place one card at the top, on the top of the deck. So that would be that one. Okay, so we then move to the attack. Okay, so these two are going to attack together to take out the frigate. These two are now done. Then we have five and four. Oh, I don't have anything I can destroy. So that's going to be three, six, Nine. Going to Coruscant. 
back to Empire Turn. So first of all, they are going to get rid of the non Calamari Cruiser. We have one for the Inquisitor, two for Darth Vader, two more for the Mystic, and they have two plus five is seven. They will buy the largest uh, capital ship out there. Fortunately, they don't poach. Fortunately or unfortunately, they don't poach because I'd really like them to go take them, take out some of these cards. Okay, so we have ten. So the bad news is. They kill us. Moncala is gone at 10 points. They easily take us out. And that's the problem with the, the leader. The leader just keeps coming every other turn and takes you out. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This has, of course, been Star Wars, the deck building game. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Come back later. And I hope that you have an absolutely great day. Please like and subscribe.